<laughs> when are we going back with the others? Pardon me? Quit with the pardon me. I want to go back with the others right now. I think that you're mistaken. Oh. What an adorable little sheep. You're so clean and white, aren't you? Whatever. Can you tell that mongrel shepherd to move his butt? I want to be with the other sheep. What do you mean, mongrel shepherd? This is Alfred, and he's not a shepherd dog. Of course he's a shepherd dog. Are you blind or what? I want to go with the others, now! Don't worry, Rita. It's obvious that this little sheep is lost and has me confused with her shepherd dog. Well, let's see. Have you lost your flock? No! I'm with the shepherd dog. It's the other sheep who are lost. But this isn't your shepherd dog. It's my Alfred. So is he your boyfriend or what? No, uh, he's, uh, he's... Rita is my friend. You don't have to explain anything to me. If you're in love, that's your business. I already said no! Your girlfriend has some temper. So will you take me to the others, or do I have to go alone? I would love to go with you, but right now I'm waiting for my friends to meet me so we can go and have some tea. Do as you like. I'll go alone. <laughs> Alfred, Rita told us that there's a lost sheep around here. That assumption is correct. The sheep went over that way. How could you let her go all alone? It's almost time for tea. But Alfred, she's lost and all alone. You have to go and help her. Where has the poor little thing gone? She must be so alone without her family. Now I feel awful for having let her go alone. The poor little thing. Look, she's over there under the tree. Are you all right, little sheep? It's about time. I've been waiting here for 10 minutes for that mongrel to lead me to the rest of the sheep. You're very mistaken. This <clears throat> mongrel, as you call him, is Alfred, and he's our friend. He is not your shepherd dog. That can't be. Then I'm... I'm lost! I will never see my family ever again. Somebody needs to comfort me. I'm so sad. Little sheep, we'll help you find them. Get away, Mongrel. This is all your fault. Don't worry. We'll help you get back to your family. Do you remember any particular place you went to every day? Now that I think about it, yes, I do remember. There's a place nearby with a river and a big pink rock. Well, I don't know where that is. Nope. Um, neither do I, Milo. I know exactly where that location is, but I don't think I want to help this sheep. She's been very unpleasant this whole time. I'm sorry, sweet mongrel. What I mean to say is, knight in shining armor, please guide me to my home and I will reward you with a great big kiss. Come on, Alfred, be nice to her. The poor thing's lost. All right, then. But don't expect me to accept one single kiss. Lead the way, Alfred. We'll all follow you. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. We've been walking for quite a while, and I don't see anything that looks familiar. Don't worry, Olga. We're almost there now. Are we there yet? We have reached our destination. What a beautiful place. And look at all the sheep. Yes, it's very pretty. Look, there's a dog coming this way. Who could it be? It's Alfreda. She's my shepherd dog. Huh? What? Alfreda? I've brought you all the way out here, and to top it all off, you call me Alfreda? Have you no shame? Alfreda is the dog who's coming over here, and she's a girl. Alfred, a little dog just like you. She could be your girlfriend, and you could get married and have little puppies. <laughs> ahem, ahem. Good afternoon, friends. I see that you've brought back my sheep. Thank you. You have all been very kind. They've been very nice to me, and I promised Alfred that I would reward him with a kiss. If you'd like, I can give him one. 
Which one is Alfred? He's the one sitting behind me, Lo. Good afternoon. It looks like they've fallen in love. How beautiful. There's really no need for reward. It has been my pleasure to help such a friendly and kind sheep find a way home. But... You must get rewarded every once in a while. It's not necessary, thank you. Okay, as you wish. At any rate, thank you, friends. I know you weren't interested in any reward, but you could have accepted the kiss, couldn't you? I'm a gentleman, and a gentleman doesn't accept kisses in exchange for anything. Even though it would have been nice to receive a kiss from such a lovely damsel. Psst, psst. <gasps> I couldn't sleep at all last night. Me neither. The only thing I heard all night long was Moo Moo snoring. We've got to do something about it because I couldn't take another night like that. We could sleep out in the garden inside a tent. I got it. Why don't we build a treehouse and make Moo Moo sleep there? So we can finally get some sleep. Poor Moo Moo. It's not her fault she snores so much. She has a bad cold. Fine, whatever the reason is. We still have to build the treehouse, don't you agree? All right, let's go get everything ready. My friends, as you all know, Moo Moo hasn't stopped snoring and we haven't been able to get sleep at all. So we're going to build a treehouse so we can get some sleep and relax. I thought Alfred was the one that snored. Excuse me, Rita, but you should know that I don't snore. I breathe with style. Whatever you say, Alfred. We have everything ready to start building it. So everybody do what Milo says. I want my own room with a double bed and three mirrors. I don't know why you want so many mirrors when you always dress the same. Ahem, what are you saying? Are you insinuating that I don't have style? No, no, that's not what I meant. Of course not. Milo, whenever you want, we are ready. Well, fine. The first thing we have to do is get everyone up top. Let's get on the platform. Good. Now everybody get to work. Rita and Olga, you can start building the walls. Talalo and Alfred will prepare the ladder. I'll help out wherever I can. Hello, my friends. Hey, what's going on? Mumu, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be doing your homework? I already finished. What are you doing? We wanted to surprise you. We built a house just for you up here in the tree. <laughs> Thank you, but I already have a house. Why would I want another? Moo Moo, the problem is that you snore like a lion and we can't sleep with all that snoring. So we built you this little house so that you could sleep here. You're throwing me out of my house because I snore? <laughs> I'm so sad. But we all need to rest. And with all your snoring, none of us can sleep. <laughs> I'm so sad. You don't want me to sleep with you in the same house. You don't love me anymore. Moo Moo, we're sorry. I'll tell you what we'll do. This house is for all of us, and we're going to sleep here all together starting tonight. Am I also going to sleep here? 
We're all gonna sleep here. You'll see how uh -huh. much fun it'll be. Come yeah. on, quit crying and help us finish it. Yay! for this beautiful house. And don't worry, because I promise I won't snore tonight. Not even a little. Alfred, quit snoring! I'm not the one snoring. It's Moo Moo! What can we do to make her quit snoring? We can make that noise that people make when somebody's snoring. I know which one. It sounds like she stopped. Finally. Good night, everyone. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Alfred! Make that noise again really loud this time. Let's see if she shuts up. Alfred? Alfred! Alfred fell asleep. I can't believe it. Now Alfred is snoring. Now Rita is snoring. This is a nightmare. Now you're snoring too, Milo? You know what? I'm gonna go home now so I can sleep all by myself. Good night. Like I've already told you many times, Moo Moo, I'm the prettiest giraffe in the whole wide world. Like I've told you a thousand times, you're the only giraffe, and that's why you're the prettiest. I detect envy in your words, and you know that envy is very ugly. The only ugly one here is you. What do you mean I'm ugly? I'm the most beautiful one in the universe. No way, I'm the prettiest one here. There has to be a way to find out which of the two of us is the prettiest. We could ask our friends and let them decide. Olga, can you help us out for a minute? Of course, what do you need? We need to decide which of the two of us is the prettiest and we want you to tell us who the winner is. But that's just silly. You're both very pretty, I can't compare you. You see, Mumu? I'm the prettiest of all. Not even Olga can deny it. Cut it out, Rita. You're both very pretty, and I vote for both of you. Rita, maybe Olga's right, and we're both so pretty that nobody can decide which one of us would win first place in a beauty contest. Hmm. We'll see about that. Ha <laughs> ha. Rita can't stop saying that she's the prettiest, but I think that everyone is pretty in their own way. Don't worry, Moo Moo. She'll get over it.
Look at that beautiful flower and this tree. What lovely green leaves. Hello, Milo. What are you doing? I'm taking pictures of the prettiest things in the garden. So how come you haven't taken a picture of me? Rita, I said the prettiest things. Hey, Milo, don't be mean to me. Come on, take a picture of me. I can't, Rita. I'm very busy and I have no time to waste because I have to submit my photos to the local newspaper. Are you telling me that those photos will come out in the local newspaper? Yes. I have to be in those photos. Let me help you. I'm sorry, Rita, but I have a lot of work to do. You're not going to win this one. Please go away, Rita. You're bugging me. I don't know what you're talking about, Milo. I'm just here peacefully admiring nature. Rita, please. Rita, let me take these photos in peace. What? Milo is taking photos of Rita? I have to be in the photos. I'll go talk to him. Now you'll see how pretty oh. you look. Oh. Oh. Now I'm going to show you what a flash looks like on your whole face. Hmm? These two are going to give me the best photos of the year. <laughs> oh. How dare you do that? When I catch you, I'll... Oh. How do you expect oh. to catch me? You're nothing but a big slow giraffe. Show you. I won first prize for the best photos. You want to see them? I want to see how pretty I came out. I'm sure I came out much prettier. I've named this photo Crazy About the Flowers. I've named this one Autumn. And this one doesn't have a name. <laughs> <laughs> 